Uh, this is the Wakera V120D02S. Uh, um, when I got this stock, um, it flew okay in normal mode, uh, but I noticed an awful lot of binding and idle. Um, and when I inspected it, these uh, servo arms at 50% were way low. Um, and so what I wanted to do is, is set this up properly um, and eliminate binding. Um, I found a video on Helifreak. A uh, gentleman, I, I don't know his name, but he did a video on the M120 mechanical setup and gave a lot of tips, so I basically followed that. Um, but basically what I did is um, I, level, I leveled these uh, servo arms um, at 50% uh, throttle, and then you can actually use pitch adjust, uh, the, sorry, pitch sub trim to fine balance these to get them a little closer. Uh, since there's no gyro control on that channel, you can use sub trim on that particular channel to get them a little bit closer. They can't be done independently though, so but you can get them pretty close that way. Uh, then I adjust, had to readjust the swash uh, links uh, to get the swash level and then in the 50% ra uh, motion range and then readjust the blade grips to um, get the pitch uh, correct uh, after those adjustments. Um, but what I really wanted to show you is the binding to watch out for. So at uh, full at full positive um, which you'll see when you add cyclic, you can get binding right here where the um, uh, where this link hits the follower. Um, there can be binding here, so you want to watch out for that. Um, you'll also get binding down here at the collar. Um, so you can use the travel adjust um, to back that off on both the high and low points. Um, there's actually another one. Um, so if I go to full negative. Um, you want to watch for binding up here, but before you'll ever bind up here, you'll see binding again at the bottom side of those links. Uh, we'll hit the follower, right? So you want to um, take some uh, travel out using travel adjust. And then the other place where I found binding was actually at the anti-rotation pin uh, here. If you go full negative and then add to see here. If you go full negative and then add, uh, there you go, um, full elevator, uh, it'll bind at the top there and add uh, some, and there'll be some more binding there. So I had to back that off quite a bit uh, to clean that up. And the way I kind of check the pitch, I don't use a pitch gauge on these small helis, uh, but if you line the blades up this way, 50%, uh, they should be even. And then normally you want equal amount of positive and negative pitch. Um, I've got plenty of pitch range on positive. On negative, I actually backed out some negative pitch because at uh, setting at, at stock, there was so much negative pitch that this blade would actually strike uh, that push rod. Uh, so I backed out. I don't need that much negative pitch. So I backed out um, some negative pitch. Um, so we won't hit that. And there we are at 50. And I took it out for test flight, and it flies great. Um, you'll have to readjust your throttle and pitch curves, um, but it'll be more like a normal heli uh, with those adjustments. So that's that.